Hi everyone, I'm children's book author and illustrator Grace Lynn. You might know me from my picture books like these, A Big Moon Cake for Little Star and A Big Bed for Little Snow, or you might know me from my middle grade novels like these. I have Where the Mountain Meets the Moon and Mulan Before the Sword. But in my last video, I talked about these novels, The Year of the Dog, and The Year of the Rat, which are novels about my life during my very first Chinese Year of the Dog and my very first Chinese Year of the Rat, and the third book in the series, Dumpling Days, which is all about my very first trip to Taiwan with my family. Now, in that video, I read a section where Pacey goes to a Japanese restaurant and she eats a crab. Now, did you know that in Chinese culture, the crab is a very lucky symbol. It's actually a symbol of harmony. And the reason why it's a symbol of harmony is because the Chinese word for crab is a homophone for the word harmony. A homophone is a word that when you say it, it has two different meanings, like the word flower. When I say flower, it could be the stuff that we bake with, or it could be like a daisy growing from the ground. Well. When you say the Chinese word for crab, you could be saying the word crab, or you could be saying the word harmony. So a picture of a crab means your wish for harmony. So what I thought I'd do today is teach all of you how to draw your own peaceful crab. So get your paper and pencil, and we'll start drawing our crab. Now, it might be easier if your paper is horizontal, because crabs are a little bit wide. All right. To draw our crab, in kind of the middle of your page, you're kind of going to make um, a big kind of fat C like that. A C on one side, and then you're going to do like a reverse C on the other side. So you're going to connect the C. So it's kind of like, almost like an apple shape. So two C's, big fat C's, that are connected together. So kind of like an apple. All right, now, from this apple shape, I want you to go right here, right like kind of a diagonal from the corner of the apple, and I want you to make a sideways V that goes like that. And then do that to the other side, a sideways V that goes like that. All right, so you should have an apple and two Vs kind of looking at each other. Now, from this V, I want you to go to the opening there and make a curve that goes like that. And then from the bottom of the V, make another curve that goes like that and have it meet up. So it's kind of like a, like a pie shape a little bit, but with a piece of pie taken out. Now do that to the other one. Make a curved line like that, and then make another curved line like that. All right, now from those kind of lopsided pie shapes, you're going to put a circle here, put a circle there and then put a circle there. All right, from there, what I want you to do is I want you to make a curved line that goes straight to your apple shape. So it's a little bit curved, and then over here, make another curved line. So it kind of curves in and out. Do you see how that's making the, the claw of the crab? And you can do that to the other side. Make a curved line that goes here, and another curved line there. So now we have the two main claws of the crab. Now we're going to do its legs. We're gonna do three side legs on each side. So to do that, I want you to make kind of a shape like this. I'll show you. It goes like this. It's kind of like an oval, a thin oval. And you're gonna do three of them. One, two, three on each side. All right? All right, now that's the first part of the leg, but, but, the crab's legs are kind of jointed, so we have to do the other part of the crab's leg. And so what you're gonna do is gonna make kind of a, another oval, but it points. So do you see how it's another oval, but it points? And we're gonna do that over there for each one. So make a pointed kind of oval for each, and attach it to each first part of the leg. So that is the crab's six legs, and then the crab has two more back legs. So you're gonna do another kind of thin pointed 
shape like that, and it's gonna it's gonna um kind of point downwards, and then another one over here, another thin pointed shape like that, right? And then you have to do the other the second part of the legs. So you're going to do an even thinner, more pointed shape that goes like this. So you have your crab claws and your crab legs. All right, now let's give our crab some eyes. Give it a nice black dot here and a nice black dot here. And give your crab some antenna. So right where you had put those eyes, just make a long antenna that goes like that. It can go over the claws that you made. There you go. All right. So now we have our crab, but we want to make this a crab that wishes for peace. So this is a crab that symbolizes harmony. And you know how they always say peace and harmony? So we're going to write the word peace right here on the crab's back. So when we hang this up, it will give us a wish for peace and harmony. So to write the word for peace is very easy. I'm going to show you right now. This is not the correct calligraphy way of doing it, but if you follow me, it will be, it will look just like the character at the end. All right, to do the Chinese word for peace, you're going to start with the bottom character. And to do the bottom character, you make a line kind of like that. It's kind of like, a, I guess it's kind of like a, a seven, but a, in reverse. So it, a slanted seven in reverse. All right. And then through that slanted seven, the top of that slanted seven, I want you to make a line that goes straight like that. And then from that straight line, I want you to make a line that kind of swerves this way. Make sure it crosses that slanted seven. Now this is actually part of the word woman in Chinese. So this is kind of the word woman. And now to make it the word peace, we're going to put a roof on top of it. And this, to put a roof on top of it, you put a line like this, and then put a straight line across, and then put another line down, and then put another line like this. This is, a, this is actually a part of the word for house. So do you know that this word peace, they're saying that peace is like a woman inside a house. So this is peace, and the way you say the word peace is un. Can you say that? There you go. So this is your crab of harmony with your wish of peace. So if you hang this up, hopefully it will bring you lots of peace and harmony, which is something we could all use, huh? So I hope that you feel very peaceful now. I hope that you have a lot of harmony in your life. And that just leaves me one more thing to tell you about. And that is my podcast called Kids Ask Authors. I hope that you have gotten a chance to listen to it by now. Because on that podcast, a guest author and I answer one kid question. And each episode ends with a kid book review, a kid joke, a kid poem. So if you send in your joke or poem or book review, we'll play it on the podcast. I'd really like to hear from you, so please send it in. So thanks so much, and I hope you have a lot of peace and harmony.